Hey everybody, this is Fragger, and I brought Jack along, and hey. we're going to do, like, a This Is for Dungeons and Dragons, Daggerdale. This is Daggerdale. That's, uh, one, of is. The, that's one of the weirder Disney characters, right? Daggerdale? Yeah. Yeah, he kind of just stabs people, and Chip Disney's and like, Daggerdale. whoa. <laughs> you can't do that. It's a Disney property, but in all due seriousness, I love D&D. Oh, yeah? I play it a lot. Yes. I, I've never played a legit game of D&D. Really? Digital or card or, or not card, but tabletop or anything <laughs> like that. There actually is card based ones. So. Oh, I haven't played that one either. So well, there you go. Now you've learned something. So what is this game like? Tell me about it. This is actually a hack and slash type game in the vein of stuff like, you know, Diablo or Dungeon Siege. It's actually oh, more cool. akin to Dungeon Siege. Okay. But uh it's a four person online co op game with drop and drop out. I like it's that. Really fun because of that. Nice. And uh it's it's got it's got some really cool stuff going on for it. Just as I said, that and also you got the four distinct classes. You have a cleric, a warrior, a mage, and a archer. Nice. And uh, I would pick just... the mage. I love mages. I, lo I love casters. I, lo I love being able to attack from further away. I like stabbing things. <laughs> You're more of an I've... up close person. I'm an up close. I've, I've from all the time I've been playing MMOs, I would stab people. Oh, so see, I like I, I like throwing stuff down. and then running like hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you saw me! Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's me. But um, there's actually some fairly easy achievements in this game, which also makes it pretty cool. Okay. But uh, first off, there's an there's a bunch of secret achievements. Actually, half of them are secret. Uh -huh. But uh, five of those are level based. Just beat tutorial in one through five chapter. Oh, okay. But then um, stuff like that, I kill a thousand goblins, which is goblin killer. Ooh. And then uh, you got stuff like solid gold. They did this very nicely because for this achievement, they say have one hundred thousand gold on you. Oh Jesus. They don't just say, have 100,000 gold. They make sure that you know that it's on you, because sometimes okay. they don't say that. <laughs> so you actually have to have it on your person. You can't have, like, spent 100,000 or at no, one point. No, it's like, have 100,000 gold in your bag at one time. Man. Yeah, so, and then, then they do the exact opposite thing of what I just said by saying, collect one of every weapon in the game. Do, do so, I have to have it on me? Well, so I'm assuming probably you want to get your 100,000 gold, get that achievement, and then spend all that gold on buying every weapon in the game, right? That's or, why I brought you a one of you, you smart man. Hey, hey there you have smartness. That's why I get paid the small bucks. <laughs> but um, there's one really cool achievement, which is uh, called the Big Stick, Ooh. which is to deal 75 damage in a single attack. Is 75 damage a lot of damage in D and D? Uh, kinda. You're when you get to the higher levels, you can get weapons that do that. Like um, you start in this game doing like six to eleven damage. Okay. So with a crit, you can probably hit 75 pretty easily with some of the higher-end weapons. Oh, okay. And that brings us to the next achievement, which is to get to level 10 on every character. Nice. All four. So that's that's that one. It's called Four to Kind, mm -hmm. name of that achievement. And then the last one, which is the secret one, which made me go, oh, man. You have to play the game for a total of 24 hours. Oh, Jesus. So hopefully getting a total of level 40 do you think you have to do that in one hours. sitting, or do you think you can spread that out? I think it's just it's play the game for 24 <laughs> hours, but if, if it's to play it all in one day, uh, I don't think my Xbox would take it. You've seen what my Xbox does. Yeah, yeah, it's no fun. It gets angry and turns off. It's going to make a room very hot. <laughs> yeah, especially now, now this time of the year. Absolutely. But uh, if you want a great dungeon crawler, that's this game for you in a nutshell. So, four person, good times. So what, would, you would you recommend this to someone who's never played a D&D &D title before? It is. It's also based on the fourth edition rule set, which is also for beginners. But I, I asked if you would recommend it. You said it is. That doesn't make sense. Well, I if you let me finish. Okay. It is based on the fourth edition rule set, which is made for beginners, which makes this very good for people who've never played D&D &D oh, before. Oh, okay. There you go. That's why I introduced my friends to D&D &D with the fourth edition, because they've never played it before. Okay. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, but sounds good. Exactly. <laughs> But uh, check it out. It's 1,200 Microsoft points. It came out uh, on the 25th of 